I don't know if you've ever asked uh, the question that is the title of our next book of the month, which is, as you can see here, Can We Trust the Gospels? Uh, this is a book written by Peter J. Williams, but maybe you or someone you know has, has wondered, can I trust what I read specifically in the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John? Uh, this is a book that will help you answer that question. Now, it's going to look at uh, different sources, whether it's from the secular world um, or looking at whether or not the events that, that are recorded in the Gospels uh, can be proven to be historical. Now, spoiler alert, uh, the conclusion of the book is going to tell you that, yes, indeed, you can trust the Gospels. And so I think this is going to be a helpful book for you or, or for others who, who have wondered this. Uh, it's going to be helpful to help you trust what you read in Scripture. And I think that's really important for us to do. But, but, but more than that, I think it's also going to help us to be able to interact with people who might say, you know, the, the, the things that we, 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 that we read in Scripture uh, didn't actually take place, or maybe they're not quite true, or, or it's not really that important. I think this book is going to help you uh, be able to, to interact with those sort of challenges and, and those sort of questions that might come up with people you work with, uh, people that you meet in, in other arenas who do not believe uh, that the Bible is trustworthy. So I am recommending this book to you, uh, Can, Can We Trust the Gospels by Peter J. Williams. Uh, it will be helpful. It's, it's a short, quick read, and it's something that I think you'll be able to, to learn a lot from in these short pages. Uh, but I think it's going to be necessary for us to be able to answer this question and similar questions uh, as, as Christianity and as Scripture is attacked more and more all around us. Uh, so this is a good book for you uh, in equipping you to help you answer those questions. And so you can find this and many other great resources on our bookshelf near the entrance to the children's wing. And if you would like this book or any of the other ones there, uh, you can sign it out to take it, read it and bring it back. Or if you would like to keep it, uh, there is a box there for a suggested donation of $10. Uh, that will help us to be able to, to keep books on the shelf so that you can keep reading them. Uh, but this book is also available uh, online. You can purchase it for yourself. You can find it as an ebook. You can find it as an audio book. Uh, and that will hopefully help you to be able to, to read it and to learn from it. And if you have any questions, I'd love to talk. Uh, specifically, I'd love to talk about books. Uh, but you will find this and many others on the bookshelf. Hope you will take advantage of it.